Well, look what's arrived on the bench today for me to take a look at. One of these little free-sat HD boxes, much beloved of uh, pirates everywhere who are. What's happened is that I think when trying to upgrade the firmware or the key for the possibly illegal decoding, they've messed up the USB port. Not of terribly high quality to start with, but uh, certainly now it's uh, not going to be working at all. Now these things only cost around about 30 euros, so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it. But if we can get it apart and maybe swap that over easily, it should be worth doing. First, a very basic check just to make sure the thing is not smoked totally. Uh, that seems to be booting up okay. Let's take a look inside. Not surprisingly, it comes apart really easily. Just two screws on the bottom, two screws that hold the circuit board in, and that pops straight out. What we're going to need then is the replacement USB from a donor board. I found such a board. This is the guts of a very old Android box, one of the original Android boxes. Just look at the state of the soldering. I think on this pin here there's hardly any at all. Just a, a smattering. Let's see if we can get this out and change it over. Here then, using my heat gun, I'm just heating the board up to remove the old broken USB connector from the FreeSat box. I've cleaned up the replacement USB connector as best I can, and perhaps more importantly the circuit board where it's going to fit. I had to clear the solder out of the little vias, the through holes there. To do that I used a solder wick. Yes, for my American cousins, for once I'm going to call it solder. The next thing to do then is to solder this guy back into place. Starting with the supporting lugs then. A little clean up of the flux. There, nice and shiny. Now to see if it works. Let's put it back together. I don't actually have the remote control, but we'll see if it can read the USB stick somehow. I've connected up my test HDMI device. This is an old laptop screen that I've put one of those universal LCD controller boards onto. Uh, very inexpensive and very useful. And uh, link to the video up there. As we can see, it's saying no signal. We press the button, we get the next channel and such like. Nothing plugged into the USB port right now. Let's plug in just a USB stick. And it's lighting up, so it has power. And it says that there's a USB storage device connected. Now, I don't have the remote control to be able to actually read the contents, but I'm pretty confident that as it's got power and as it's sensed that it's a USB storage device, we're probably good to go. The only other thing that I can do is that the device is supplied with this little USB Wi-Fi dongle. Let's see what happens if I plug that in. Deposito Wi-Fi Conectado. In uh, plain English, yes, it's got a Wi-Fi dongle attached. Well, if it can recognise the USB stick as a stick and the Wi-Fi module as a Wi-Fi module, I'm pretty happy that we've effected a repair. Happy days.